recognized. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize the parents, guardians, and grandparents of the graduates. You've been with your child through all the good and bad times that life has brought them. You've encouraged them and counseled them to keep working through the tough times. You are also there to celebrate the successes with them through their best times. I want to thank each one of you for your sacrifices and the crucial role that you have played in getting these students to this point in their lives. The Green County Tech School District appreciates all that you've done for your children. If you are a parent, guardian, or grandparent of one of the graduates, please stand as we applaud you for your efforts and sacrifices. Thank you. You may be seated. 2023 marks the 76th graduating class from Greene County Tech High School. There are 261 seniors in the class who have been awarded over $53 million in scholarships. Please join me in a round of applause for our graduates to recognize this incredible ac academic achievement. Seniors, the people in the arena tonight are here to celebrate the class of 2023, and this is your shining moment. Congratulations on a job well done. It has been an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to serve you as your high school principal. And now, please enjoy tonight's ceremony. Good evening. C.S. Lewis is quoted saying, isn't it funny how day by day nothing changes, but when you look back, everything is different. We chose this phrase as our senior quote, and I feel that it could not be more true. When we first started kindergarten, most of us were just clueless little kids afraid of social interaction. Now we are slightly bigger kids afraid of social interaction. When we first stepped through the halls of Green County Tech High School, we were focused on which hallways had which subject, and after hours of learning, studying, and goofing off in them, we finally walked those hallways for the last time. Tonight is a nod to the awesome wins we've had over the years in band, choir, and art competitions, hilarious homecoming skits, and awesome plays in the auditorium, to the battles won in the fields and tracks, and in the gyms and pools and to all the tests in the classroom that were looked up on Quizlet and SparkNotes the period before. All of our experiences, good and bad, have shaped us into who we are today and who we will continue to become. The song we chose to commemorate our final moments is Separate Ways by Journey. The song mentions the love felt and the memories shared as people depart from one another. Looking back on all the moments that have led us here, it makes me realize just how much fun we've had over the course of our academic career. Our elementary years were filled with super hot field days, duck dynasty, kickball tournaments, and trips to the computer lab to rack up AR points. Personally, intermediate and middle school were a, blip bl a bit blurry, but I still remember waking up in a flooded tent on the Pace camping trip, and later getting to be a part of one of the greatest productions of all time, the fifth grade lip sync. After all this class is faced together, both good and bad, it is important to remember that it is because of our experiences that we are here tonight. Our class colors of mango, lavender, and jade green were chosen to represent the traits learned, needed, and taught throughout our years in high school. As we think of the bright oranges of love and happiness, the calming blues of tranquility, and the well-being and longevity symbolized by the cool green shades, I hope we all feel cherished, calm, and are prosperous as we start our new jobs, schools, and lifestyles. Our class flower, the daisy, is known to represent new beginnings. I believe this class will face every new challenge head on 
and use the skills we have learned over the last several years to continue to discover who we want to be. As we leave the friends we've made in and out of the high school building, I know that the memories shared will last for a long, long time. Over the course of my high school career, I have been honored to learn under amazing teachers who will answer any question and who will do anything to help me pass a test. I am forever grateful for all of those who have seen me at my absolute worst and always looked out for my well-being, even if I didn't notice or appreciate their efforts at the time. I am so grateful for all of the soccer and basketball coaches I've had over the years who have inspired me to fight for every loose ball on the field or court and every opportunity that life throws my way. I want to recognize my family, my parents especially, for pushing me to, for pushing me to very, be the very best version possible and giving me advice at every turn. Most of all, I would like to thank God for all that he has done in my life to allow me to stand here today. I know that I, along with the rest of the class of 2023, couldn't have been better prepared for whatever the future may hold for us. Class of 2023, I can't wait to see what comes next.
Success means something different to everyone in this room. Some people may find their success in smaller tasks, while others may find their success in larger goals. There is no right or wrong answer to success. Only you can decide that for yourself. A couple stories come to mind when I think of success. When I was younger, my father told me three very simple words that have stuck with me till this day. Make a choice. At the time when he told me this, it didn't seem that important because it was about something as simple as throwing something in the trash or keeping it. However, as I have grown, I try to use these words as often as I can. We are met with choices every day that can define us and the success we find. Success does not come from the choices that people make for us, but the choices we make for others. My parents have taught me several times throughout my life to always do my best. Anytime I got a bad grade, anytime I failed to complete a task with the time I was given, anytime I fell short in any way, they always asked me one question, did you do your best? Anytime the answer was yes, I was considered successful and I was rewarded and it made me feel better even when I failed. Anytime I answered no, I felt dissatisfied with myself for not doing the best I could. Success, in my opinion, is a mentality, not an achievement. You cannot be successful if you do not believe in yourself, and you will never believe in yourself if you do not try your best and always apply yourself. Another story that comes to mind revolves around the connections and friendships I made through marching band. I owe a great deal of my success to Nathan Hartness, Cash Carley, Lexi Greenhaw, and Madison Jones, to name a few. These people have always pushed me to be a better person and a better musician. Nathan Hartness always kept me pushing myself as a percussionist because he always challenged my leadership positions and forced me to be better. He also taught me how to loosen up a little bit when playing the drum set. Thank you, Nathan, for helping mold me into the musician I am today. Cash and Lexi were always wonderful friends who pushed me to try harder, even when I did not think I could. Lexi and Cash were always ready to go on the field despite any problems they might have had. Cash always had the heaviest instrument, but he was always the last to take it off. And as for Madison, she always pushed me academically to be better. We are both insanely competitive with each other, so we always fight for who will get the better grade, which led me to rise nearly seven places in my class in the span of one year. I would also like to thank my band directors for teaching me a creed that I will never forget. It goes like this. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you care not, you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it's almost a cinch you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find success begins with the person's will. It's in their state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster person, but sooner or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks they can. Positive self-projection. Attitude and self-worth are more important than anything when it comes to success. Lastly, I would like to thank some of the faculty. I would like to thank Mr. Skank for always being friendly and talking to me and my friends at lunch, and I am very glad that we could both learn where Moldova was together on the map. <laughs> I would also like to thank Ms. Ritter, Mr. Johnson, Ms. Sullivan, Mr. Rogers, Ms. Bain, Mr. Pearson, Mr. Anderson, and Ms. Webb for making my senior year extremely fun and memorable. It has been an honor being in class with all of you, and I will cherish it forever. Success to me is giving your all to everything you do and being proud of it, while also being courageous. Success is not the absence of failure, rather the courage and hard work you put in between the failures. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And this leads me into the Bible verse, Joshua 1.9, which says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Money and fame and victory do not amount to anything other than a temporary happiness that can easily be taken away at any time. True success is a mentality, not a reward given by the things you do, but the things you think of yourself and others.
Class of 2023, it is such an honor to be standing before you on this very memorable day. I want to say congratulations to everyone here. We can finally say that we made it. I want to say thank you to all of the parents, grandparents, and guardians that have led us through this part of our lives. I truly believe that we could not have done this without you. To our families, you have been there for us even when things weren't easy. You were there to wake us up in the mornings, even though you may not have wanted to be up so early yourself. You were there if we needed a shoulder to cry on, a person to rant to about our problems, or just someone to talk to. Thank you for the countless hours shuttling us back and forth from practices, games, competitions, school events, and don't even get me started on the multitude of hours that you waited to pick us up from Carline. You guys have done so much more, but I couldn't possibly list all you've done in a short graduation speech. So I just wanna say thank you for everything you have done for us. In the words of Maya Angelou, family isn't always blood. It's the people in your life who want you in theirs, the ones who accept you for who you are, the ones who would do anything to see you smile and who love you no matter what. My chosen family was my band family. For you, it may have been your theater family, your sports team, your close friends, and so on. When I first joined the band, I was a very shy, very quiet person. I had very little confidence in myself and I didn't really talk to many people. I kind of just stuck to myself, but as the years have gone by, I grew more confident in myself and I even became a leader in the band. I have matured so much because of my band family and I want to say thank you to the directors and all of the people that helped me in my musical journey. I hope that you all found a place you belong within this class. While my band family is the group that I chose, I am beyond grateful for my relatives. They are my first family, the ones I can always count on to be there for me. Our families are the constant ones in our lives, and they will continue to be there for us in the next chapters of our lives. To my mom, I'd like to say thank you for teaching me to have compassion towards others and for always pushing me to be the best that I can be. You have always been there for me, whether that meant staying up really late after a long day so that I could rant about something or to let out all of my anxieties. I love all of the memories that the two of us have shared, from the early morning cuddles I just had to have when I was younger, to bonding over books and the late night talks we've shared. Dad, thank you for teaching me to always stand up for myself and others. You have taught me so much about sarcasm. Sorry, Mom. And you always put up with me no matter what. And I love all the memories that we've made, whether it be bonding over video games, geeking out over movies, or just spending time together. It's my family that has shaped me into the person that I am today, and I wanna say thank you so much. I love you guys. You know, your parents have always told you that you can be anything you wanna be, but I'm still waiting on my acceptance letter to Hogwarts, so I guess that's out of the question. So instead, A-State, here I come. Now, remember to hug your family, Thank them for everything they've done for you. And most importantly, don't complain when they want tons of pictures tonight. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it.
into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them, and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if
Hi, my name is Ella Gay, and I'm so grateful to be able to gather here tonight for one last time with the class of 2023. This is the day we have all been anticipating since we started high school, but it feels like it crept up on us a whole lot quicker than we could have imagined. Just as our chapter here at GCT is coming to a close, a new one is about to begin. So tonight, I would like to celebrate the past memories we have made along the way. I realize we all have different stories to tell of our time at GCT. And while I cannot speak for all of us, I can tell you of the impact this school and the people have made on me. When I was in third grade, I distinctly remember my mom and dad explained to my siblings and me that we would be moving to a new town that I had never heard of before and I would be leaving all my best friends to start a new school. I remember being crushed by this news and praying that my parents would change their minds and say that we could stay. I didn't want my life to change. I liked the chapter of life I was in and moving would mean I would start, have to start all over again. If you have ever moved schools, I'm sure you know that feeling. Change can be scary. When we first moved to Paragold, this is gonna be hard for me to say, but I was a ram. I know it's crazy to think about. I attended school at Paragold for the rest of third grade and all of fourth. Just when I started to get settled in, I was told I'd be moving schools yet again to the rival school across town. Let's just say that was not a very good night for my parents and many tears were shed. I arrived at GCT on the first day of fifth grade, terrified and not ready to begin a new chapter of my life at a new school. As I look back now at this memory, I can't help but thank God for sending me to this school eight years ago. He put me in the right place at the right time and my life was forever changed because of it. As I look back at the older chapters of my, life, as of my time spent at school, I remember all the field days we got to play tug of war against all the other classes, or getting to go to the movies on a field trip, and even running the fun run back when we still thought running was fun and cool. As we began to get older, we started looking forward to cheering on our football and basketball teams on Friday nights, watching the band perform at halftime, and spent countless hours during homecoming week practicing our skit to make sure it was perfect for our parents to watch. Let's not forget when we beat our senior class our junior year with the help of Nacho Libre and our cheerleading boys. And you already know we had to win again with the Marvel Avengers our senior year. Homecoming week was always one of the most fun weeks of high school and those memories are ones I will hold on to for a long time. While I will miss all of these memories I've mentioned so much, I'll miss the people that were involved in making these memories even more. My hope is that when we look back on our high school years, we won't remember all the time we spent stressing over tests or trying to get a hard assignment completed, but instead we will look back on the memories like these and remember all the connections and lifelong friendships that were made. Thank you to my friends for being my source of encouragement and laughter. You have made my high school years ones I will never forget. To my teachers, thank you for all the hard work that you do and for how much you care for your students. I will miss hearing Miss Sullivan tell us about her adventurous road trips that always end up with her falling or tripping herself. Mr. Johnson conditioning us to say, physics is fun, physics is exciting, when we didn't want to do our work. Ms. Bain asking us every morning for good things, and Ms. Wallace giving us fist bumps and high fives before class each day. I would not be standing here today if it wasn't for the help and support of all of my teachers from the past eight years at GCT. To my dad, thank you for the countless pep talks I, when I lacked the courage to, talk, to perform my best on the volleyball court or in a track event and thank you for putting up with my complaining in track two. You have always been my biggest supporter in everything that I do. To my mom, thank you for your constant wisdom and patience for me when I felt overwhelmed with school or life in general. I hope to be half the woman that you are. I can never thank you both enough for all that you have done for me and how much you continue to do for me. 
As I bring my speech to a close, I would like to leave my class with this verse. Trust in the Lord your God with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, in, on, in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. As we close this chapter of our lives and venture into this unknown stage, I pray that each of you will let the Lord guide you in your next chapter of life. Do not be afraid of the future because he will be right there with you every step of the way. I'm so grateful to be a part of this graduating class. Congratulations to all of you. We finally did it. Thank you, class of 2023. Hi everyone, if you don't already know me, my name is AC Fair and I first wanna thank you all for coming tonight. It doesn't feel real that I'm standing up here right now at graduation as a senior and about to be an alumni. They gave me the topic of the future, which I quite frankly know absolutely nothing about, but I'm going to start off with telling a story from the past. I'm not sure why I remember this memory, but it kind of started me on this path to be up here today. I was very young, probably in about the third grade or so. I'm not even sure if my parents remember this, but we were eating dinner at the kitchen table, and for some reason, we were talking about graduation. The topic of valedictorian and salutatorian came up, and I had no idea what those words meant, so I asked, and they told me it's the people that finish top of the class, have good grades, and so on. I remember responding and saying, I wanna be valedictorian. They didn't laugh or anything like that. They were surprised, but I could tell they fully believed me. As time went on, I forgot about my goal, but I did try my best in school and in everything I did. I never thought my random idea would become reality until the beginning of high school when I kept having pretty good grades, and that was when I knew there was a chance. So, lucky me, here I am today giving a speech in front of the class of 2023 and hundreds of people. Not scary at all, right? But on, on a more serious note, this is an amazing honor and I wouldn't have gotten here without God, my family, friends, teachers, coaches, and many other people that have made an impact in my life. My parents have taught me to work hard and to never settle. They have also always believed in me and in my goals even when I haven't fully believed in myself. My Mimi and Poppy have shown me how important it is to put God first in my life and how to do so. My teachers and coaches have pushed me to do my very best and have never given up on me. They have expanded my knowledge, taught me irreplaceable life lessons, and prepared me for the next phase in life. Overall, I could not express my gratitude enough. God has placed all of these amazing people in my life and made this all possible for me. So many people have helped shape me into who I am today, and I wish I could give thanks to everyone who has been there for me, but that would truly be a never-ending list. Anyways, classmates, as we start this new chapter and begin to discover about each of our futures, I know there are going to be many unknowns and challenges, but also many new opportunities and experiences. As I said before, I know nothing about what I'm talking about, nobody does but I do have some advice that I'm keeping with me as I start this new journey. There's a 100% chance that I'm going to fail and a 0% guarantee that I'm going to succeed, which are not very good odds and very intimidating. But that advice that I just mentioned reassures my worries and it is a quote from a very wise person in my life. They asked, what's failure? And they answered by saying, stepping stones to get what you want. So. Class of 2023, as we walk out of this gym tonight, don't be afraid to mess up, make mistakes, or fail. Succeeding wouldn't exist without failing. Another piece of advice that I'm going to carry with me is very generic, but I thought I'd say it anyway. 
Live in the moment. Don't keep looking forward to the next thing, or you will miss what's happening right in front of you. This year has really made me focus more on this fact because I realized how true it was. As I look back on my senior year of high school, so many things happened, and it seemed like it was yesterday when I was walking into the school being a big kid, a big kid on campus for the very first time. I don't know what each of my classmates' future holds, but I do know that you are responsible for defining your future. Finally, my last piece of advice actually isn't for my classmates, it's for the kids in the building. Be careful of what you wish for and what you say at the dinner table, because it just might come true and you might end up like me on a stage facing many people and having to speak into a microphone. Congratulations and good luck, Greene County Tech, class of 2023. It's time to see what our future holds. Thank you. The senior class of 2023 would like to make a special presentation in remembrance of three of their classmates. At this time, senior Catherine McDaniel will present an honorary cap and gown to the family of Brooklyn Humphrey. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor the family and the memory of Brooklyn Humphrey. At this time, senior Ethan Hunt will present an honorary cap and gown to the family of Christopher Scott. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor the family and the memory of Christopher Scott. At this time, senior Christian Smothers will present an honorary cap and gown to the family of Jackson Shepherd. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor the family and the memory of Jackson Shepherd. Thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate your attendance. First row of graduates, please stand for the presentation of diplomas. AC AC Lane Fair
Ella Catherine Gay. Madison Leanne Jones. Joshua Michael Sutton. Gabrielle Grace Lincoln. Carter James Willis. Camden McKinley Cobb. Ella Marie Murray. Ellie Grace Stanford. Bailey Grace Reddick. Naomi Yamile Rodriguez. Naomi Desiree Rodriguez. Nathan Allen Hartness. Avery May Stokes. Levi Miles Compton. Rebecca Grace Worthington. Caitlin Nicole Lizarraga. Richard Cole Puckett. London Blair May. Jaden Leanne Exum. Chloe Daryl Clark. Braden Allen Carr. Aubrey Nicole Crum. Abigail Diane Kreider. Thank you. Catherine Grace McDaniel. Elizabeth Renee Huffmaster. Leslie Giselle Garcia. Jace Everett James Cooper. Braden James Dowler. Kelsey Reese Morris. Caleb Andrew Garish. Thanks, sir. George Anderson Vaughn. Nice, nice stash. Katie Lynn Kasserman. 
Thank you, Katie. Shayla Gail Russum. Allie Nicole Wood. Kennedy Ann Carpenter. Tyler Jean Vincent. Taylor Sky Dowdy. Sydney Grace Cates. Colby Aaron Stokes. Mia Lucille Hook. Davina Michelle Gunn. Samantha Ann Smith. Carly Allison Burrow. Landon Everett Jackson. Sable Kyleen Crafton. Trinity Rayanne Wigginton. Savannah Elise McCain. Brielle Alexis Daniels. Michael Brandon Forrest. Camden Lentz Farmer. Katie Lynn Anderson. Gabrielle Reese Finch. Aiden Drake Ussery. Kenzie Faith Lerma. Gareth Layton Yarbrough. Anna Marie Bobbitt. Carter Shane McBride. Thank you, Father. Appreciate it. Journey Renee Simmons. Leah Lynn Harris. Zachary Dakota Bainey. Camden Isaac Watson. I'm not calling your name. Lane Harvey Couch. Andrew Cash Carley.
Ross Ronnie Register. Thank you, sir. Ashton Brian Timms. Eddie Grace Terrell. Zane Eric Abbott. Jackson Alexander Adcock. Matthew Paul Akins. Amy Elizabeth Allen. Dylan Ray Almquist. Abby Elizabeth Ayers. Luke Thomas Bain. Jose Aldo Barrientes, Jr. Caden Arthur Bastion. Brian Joseph Baxter. Jackson Eli Bennett. Nicole Eileen Benson. Caitlin Nicole Bishop. Charles William Boardman IV. Brooklyn Emma Boone. Olivia Jaden Boone. Bodie Blake Brasher. Paxton Rex Brown. Zion Kellen Mackay Brown. Random DeShane Brummett. Damon Douglas Bryant. Kylie Jolyn Bulkley. Tyler Adam Camp. Maddie Jean Cates. Daniel Sedino. Andy Yannette Clark. Dwayne Lee Clark, Jr. Kylie Renee Clayton. Eli Daniel Koffel. Abby Brianne Colvin.
Kayla Lovine Cossey. Luke Aaron Couch. Justin Levi Crossno. Gracie Marie Cunningham. Garrett Bradley Cup. Thomas Walter Allen Dale. Noah Richard Danke. Matthew Rain Dameron. Desiree Dawn Dancer. Juan Pablo Daniel. Colton Isaac Daniels. Nathan Kyle Davidson. Haley Meredith Denham. Destiny Alexis Dill. Jacob Eli Dulaney. Thomas Everett Duncan Jr. Kobe Neal Eaton. Carson Owen Eddings. Kehala Joseph Edward. Destiny Faith Edwards. Lane Allen England. Ethan Ramon Estrada. Caleb Michael Exum. William David Exum. Christopher Logan Fisher. Trenton Jacob Forbes. Anthony Sebastian Fornash. Laney Madison Foster. Bryson Lane French. Clayton Monroe Garrison. Emma Sue Ann Gibson. Austin Paul Allen Gilbert. Ethan Riley Gladish. Kyle 
Richard Glickert. Joseph Alexander Gonzalez. Benjamin Wyatt Goodman. Michael Lee Gray. Lexi Marie Greenhall. Zoe Elizabeth Gregory. Andrew Hudson Gwynn. Alyssa May Guthrie. Adriana Michelle Hamilton. Amber Joe Haney. Bryson Drake Harris. Jasper Nicole Harris. Camden Christopher Hart. Caitlin Marie Healy. Riley Nicole Page Helenthal. Fernando Gabriel Hernandez. Isaac Lee Hogan. Charles Isaac Hollis. Justin Michael Hollis. Cornelius Kelly Horton. Isaac Emery Hughes. Ethan Daniel Hunt. Landon Russell Hunt. Braden Alexander Emler. Cheyenne Enek. Eli Lathan Ivy. Thatcher William Jackson. Wes Alex Jernigan. Avery Colson Johnson. Brooklyn Nevea Johnson. Dash Silas Johnson. Peyton Austin Johnson. Justin Gage Lewis Kelly.
Preston Jace Kellum. Michael Gage Kelly. Riley Nathaniel Clemmer. Josue Daniel Legos. Jabus Josiah Lejabno. Hayden William Lambert. Jonah Johnson Lane. Allison Elizabeth Lang. Gus Michael Lanier. Cadence Alina Lawless. Crystal Marie Lopez. Adriana Maria Lowry. Kaysen Bryant Lund. Amari Camille Malone. Blake Michael McDaniel. Macy Shea McLaughlin. Carter Tillman Meredith. Catherine Grace Miller. Christian Andrew Lee Miller. Emily Suzanne Miller. Jeremy Hunter William Miller. Piper Jade Mitchum. Garrett Riley Moore. Richard J. Morgan. Chase Daniel Morris. Haley Devon Morris. Emberly Morrow. Thomas Earl Morrow. Kylie Anne Marie Murray. T. My Nguyen. Macy Don Noel. Leslie Michelle Ochoa. Madison Cheyenne Oswald. (laughs) 
Nicholas Paul Owens. Gabrielle Marie Pantoja. Carson Alexander Parker. Hannah Jolene Passard. Ethan Dwight Pemberton. Trinity Diane Perry. Dalton Lee Pickney. Lauren Grace Pillow. Aiden Timothy Pollock. Alexis Michelle Potter. Aspen Elizabeth Price. Nate Austin Quintana. Mackenzie K. Wrangell. Ashley Grace Reinhardt. Harley Russell Renault. Chloe Joy Ring. Jaden Aston Rogers. Dakota Alejandro Rodriguez. Mackenzie Rain Rouse. Grace Ruiz. Xander Braden Sapp. Blake Michael Scott. Hayden Dean Scott. Justin Cannon Scott. Ryan Michael Sears. Gavin Lane Shelton. Jonathan Leonard Simpson. Spencer Sims. Richard Adam Sipes. Candon Ray Slatton. Hold on. Who am I missing? I've got Sebastian Solozano. What's your name? Christian Smothers. Wasn't on my list. Sebastian Solorzano. Jason T. 
Tyler Speaks. I don't know what happened there. Peyton Eric Stacy. Kevin Aaron Joe Stallmacher. Aaron Ross Steele. Hannah Elizabeth Towell. Michael Wayne Trawick. Grant Elva Turner. Braden Julian Twitty. Christopher Michael Upchurch. Drennan Hyde Vasquez. Chloe Ann Wagner. Alexandra Grace Walker. Ariel Alana Wallace. Tyron Tyreek Wallace. Tyler J. Watson. Who? Cameron David Andrew Weaver. Emily May Webb. Logan Daniel Webb. Lacey Amanda Elizabeth Wells. Logan Thomas West. Herschel William Lloyd White. Davion Deshaun Williams. Vernon Blake Williams. Xander Kane Williams. Callista Avery Nicole Winberry. Luke Owen Rayford. Tania Alexis Renee Wright. Graduates, 
Please stand. By the authority vested in me by the Arkansas Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, I hereby certify that these students have fully satisfied all the requirements for graduation set forth by the Greene County Tech Board of Education. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present you the Green County Tech High School graduating class of 2023.